Josh here for the Building Blocks Quilt Along, and today I'm quilting wiggles and teeth in a rail fence block. Okay, as you can see, I've already stitched in the ditch and uh, knocked out one of my uh, one of my uh, big rectangles here. I'll just wiggly use, you know, nothing technically challenging there, you know, standard operating procedure. Though uh, I did find going up to down instead of left to right was more helpful as it was closer to the edge of the, the quilt. Now this, you can see I'm comfortable going in this direction here. Well, that was, that was an error. When that happens, I just I just like to stop for a second, you know, and look at it and decide if I need to reorient the block, but I, I think this is okay. I would definitely say this is a great block to begin in totally new to free motion quilting. This block would be a good choice to start on because it's a nice mixture of straight lines and some very gentle uh, curves. Okay. Moving down, I'm stitching the ditch here to get to uh, some of the curve shapes, the smaller curve shapes. Now this is the same principle as the one I did earlier, it's just smaller. So I'm looking at it, deciding what direction I want to go in. I think I'm going to go from uh, left to right. If that doesn't work, I'll, I'll change it up and go uh, from top to bottom. Yeah, it's not feeling too good, so let's, let's mix it up here. It's interesting, the closer I get to the bottom of the block, the easier the quilting goes. Of course, as I say it, I make a, another mistake. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Now, since I don't really care for doing that, I'm going to change it up and we're going to work on some more rectangles and straight lines. And never be afraid to do that. It's, you may have to travel stitch a little more, but you're not going to get a ticket or anything. I do not like going in that direction. That is much better. And that was Wiggles and Teeth on a Rail Fence Quilt Block. I hope you're enjoying these videos. You can pick up the Building Blocks Quilt Pattern at leahday.com, and this cheater cloth I'm using is available at spoonflower.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.